My most recent book is called Stalin's Daughter. It's actually a biography of Joseph Stalin's daughter. I came across her obituary in the New York Times in 2011, and two comments she'd made totally intrigued me. No matter where I go, she said, to Australia, to an island, I will always be the prisoner of my father's name. And then she said, you can't regret your fate, but I do regret my mother didn't marry a carpenter. What woman can go from that tragedy to that humor? I checked and nobody had ever attempted a biography of her and I thought the biography of the dictator's daughter would be thrilling. She de defected from the Soviet Union in 1967. Her father had died in 53. And she found herself caught in a kind of swing pendulum between the CIA, the KGB, and one of her closest friends whom I spent a weekend with, uh, he and his wife, was the CIA agent who brought her out. So it's a thrilling uh, political story. I've been called a page turner and uh, it was very exciting to write. I got to meet and interview her family in Russia, including uh, Stalin's grandson. It won me a number of prizes, which was always for a writer a great pleasure. But the process of doing it was astonishingly illuminating. It made me understand that destiny is not a product of biology. Stalin's son uh, was a bit of a pot, tin pot dictator uh, um, parody, but Svetlana was a moral, uh, powerful, intelligent woman, but she was full of rage. You didn't want to be on the receiving end of that rage, but if you are on the receiving end of her love, it was overwhelming. Mm -hmm.